called Nobody Moved by Aiden Nola. And the characters are Catherine, 25, Jared, 27, Teller, 60, Robert, 35. Setting is a bank on Tuesday at noon. At Rise, a single teller is at one of the three counters and there is an older woman talking with her, taking her sweet time with a younger woman. There's a single table surrounded by three uncomfortable chairs. A water cooler sits lonely in the back corner. Jared enters through the glass doors and stands behind the younger woman. He is clearly in a hur hurry. He waits behind the woman as the two make small talk. Yep, just moved here from Washington about a month ago. Really enjoying it. Whole lot less rain down here though. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. But, um... Oh honey, we need that rain. <laughs> I know you're probably sick of it, but boy, we need the stuff. Oh, gee, golly, gee, gosh, isn't the rain a crazy thing? Boy, what would I give for some of that to come down this way? I don't have time for this. Come on, don't you people understand that there are other people here with lives and important dates to see to? Oh, I've gotten used to it. I mean, this is the fourth place I've lived in four years, so... Moving towns is nothing new to me. Oh, no, I could never do that. Born and raised right here in Atlanta. All right, that's it. Here I thought I could do this really quick, but nope, geriatric behind the counter there is spending more time talking about talking than actually working, and this lady enabling him. How do you end up with this? Don't you have places to be, lady? You're not just out on a Tuesday afternoon at the bank to chat up this old hag. As Jared is about to leave the bank, a robber in a ski mask with a gun enters the bank. All right, nobody move. I've got some demands and I want them met or else. You, lady, away from the counter. You have got to be kidding me. All right, listen, buddy. I didn't see anything. I don't care what you do here. I just need to leave. I'm late for a date and if I don't show up, my girlfriend will kill me. Shut up, you. Get over there by the table and sit down. You too as well, away from the counter. No, I will not, okay? I have to get out of here, and you're not stopping me. The robber fires a shot into the ceiling. And I've suddenly changed my mind. Where, <laughs> where do you want me, over, over here? Okay, all right. Okay, good boy. Mm. Now listen to me. Do exactly as I say, and no one gets hurt. Couldn't you have done this any other day, like a holiday? No one would be here. It'd be great, real nice and easy. No, I need hostages. I've got it all planned out, and I'm not changing anything. Why rob a bank anyways? There are so many easier ways to make quick cash. Because it's where the money is. Look at this guy and his Willie Sutton references. He really did do his research. All right, down to business. Give me your phones. He takes all their phones. Stay right here. I'm only going to be over there, and I can see you. The robber walks behind the counter. I can't deal with this right now. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Hey, calm down. You freaking out won't help him. Calm? How can I be calm right now? There was a man in the same room as me with a gun and an intent to kill. Don't worry. <laughs> I tricked the silent alarm. The police should be here in 15 minutes. You, lady. The robber points at the teller. Come over here. How on earth do you expect me to be calm? I don't know. I'm just trying to help. You seem nervous. Well, not only is this stress taking years off my life, the whole situation may just end my relationship, too. Why do you say that? S severe stress has been known to lead to things. No, like not that. The relationship part. Well, we've hit a bit of a rough patch, if I must. And uh, if I miss this date, uh, this is not the time to be worrying about this, OK? I just. Why not? <sighs> What else are we going to do? Escape? I don't know. The cops are already on their way. Not much else we can do. I know, but I'm more of a fight than a flight kind of person. I can't just sit idly by and wait for rescue. Really? You're a fighter. Yeah. Because it sounded just like you wanted to walk away from this whole situation a minute ago. That was different. Sure it was. Oh, man, look. That light. She's trying to call me. She probably thinks that I don't love her anymore. Well, don't you? No, I do. I, it's, just, it's just that I don't think the feelings are mutual anymore. Like, she cares about me, and she wants what's best for me and us, but it just feels like she does it because she has to more than because she wants to. Why hold on, then? She's just somebody you meet in passing on your journey of life, you know? The two of you had your fun, but you grew apart. 
There's nothing wrong with moving on. I know, but it's just in the manner I'd be doing this, and, and we've just been together for so long, and I, I, okay, stop trying to talk to me about my life when our lives are on the line. Hey, calm down. There's nothing we can do now. You heard the lady. In 15 minutes, the cops will be over, we'll be over here, and we're home free. Excuse me? Uh, oh, okay. Well, plan B it is. The robber removes a strange-looking device from his bag and places it on the ground and returns to his work. I don't have 15 minutes to spare, okay? My girlfriend probably already left the restaurant and is driving to my apartment as we speak <laughs> to return her key and leave for good. She'll see this on the late night news or Twitter or whatever, and she'll understand why you were late, and you'll both laugh, and you'll have a great story to tell oh, your kids. Good. I can't... I can't have kids with that woman, okay? Are you kidding? I can barely live with her. Jeez. The teller stands up and gets three cups of water from the water cooler. Hey, where do you think you're going? The teller holds up the cups. All right. Next time, let me know beforehand, or you won't get a strike three. Hun, the way I see it, this is an opportunity. It's a time for a fresh start. Explain. Well, you seem to hate your lady friend. You're late to a date with her. She's probably in the process of breaking up with you. Why don't you see this as a good thing? I mean, you clearly are over her. But if this never happened, you'd go out on that date with her and nothing would change. You'd just sit awkwardly across from each other and after a while, go home to have loveless, passionate... Mouths and whispers sex. <laughs> ...before saying goodnight. But now... You can say good riddance to her and move on with your life. I guess. I just... I don't want to break up with her. I, I want to fix things. She just makes it so hard. Love is a two-way road, hon. If you're going to make it work, she's got to cooperate. And as of right now, she just doesn't seem to want yeah, to. It's just... I just... <sighs> All right. I've got that thing going, transferring money into a whole bunch of accounts. Real complex stuff. We've got some time to spare before I have to bounce. What's going on here? Why? Why does everyone take interest in my love life as if it's some interactive exhibition on the human condition or something? Hey, man, I just joined the conversation. I don't even know what I walked into here. Still, let's drop the subject. Okay, fine. What about you, lady? Well, I just moved here from Washington. Been loving the weather so far. Nice change from constant rain this time of year? This again. What about you? Just, uh, robbing a bank. <laughs> oh, some dude, some money, and thought it was the quickest way to pay them back. I don't know. If I desperately needed money to pay back the mob, I'd just sell my organs or something. Not doing anyone harm. Well, uh, other than myself. But, uh, you can live without a kidney. Just mm. fine. I don't know. I'd probably sell drugs. I mean, I already know enough potential buyers. It'd be easy. True, true. Sirens can be heard. Damn it! I let time get away from me. Obviously. I can't let them catch me. Obviously. What am I going to do? Why, why don't you take off the mask? And we'll all exit at once. And that way, they won't be able to tell which one is the criminal. I saw the movie one. Yeah. Inside Robert. man, right? Yeah. But that was uh, the other way around. All the hostages wore the masks and uh, what, yeah. What, yeah. But I'm sure it'll still work. Yeah. The robber removes his masks and exits through the door. As soon as they are outside, the robber exits and tell the tell and tell and ooh, and the teller exits to speak with the police. I think we just helped that bank robber get away. It'll probably fi be fine. Now you should go and explain this whole thing to your girl. She's probably worried sick. Eh, she'll see it on the news tonight. She'll understand, she'll laugh, and have a great story to tell her kids. True, true. Jared and Catherine exit.
we didn't rehearse at all. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. All right. Uh, I got a challenge for you. I want you to tell the whole arc of the story in one sentence. Uh, what would you listen? Once or twice? Oh, really? Is this new play? What was it about? One sentence. Go. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, Bank gets, gets robbed and Spurs man talk about his love life. <laughs> Weird play. <laughs> Somebody else. What's this play about? One sentence. Yep. Sarah is annoyed with the um, story of his love life and doesn't have time for a bank robbery. <laughs> What else? Anybody else want to take what you think the story is? Yeah, hold on. Very impatient man goes to a bank that's being robbed all over his breakup. Yeah. Yes, Charlie. An inconvenient bank robbery reveals the true emotions. It's all y'all are linking the activity of the bank robbery with the meaning of this guy's struggle and story. All right, what's the title of the play? Nobody move. Now rethink the arc of the story with the title in mind. Why is the thing you just said about nobody move? Nobody move. Want to try it? That gives you a clue as to what his state is, right? Yep. He doesn't seem to want to move anything. Like he doesn't want to touch anything. I can't go to his girlfriend because he's like, yeah, I just I don't want to deal with that. I want to keep things the way they were. So it's like nobody move. And then you have the bank robbery. So it's like nobody move. I already get down and stuff. So it's kind of like this tale of like me, what they both want. They kind of have this common Nobody. Does anybody in this play move? Who? Someone said yes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it was the woman from Washington, and I noticed this that she was. Let's, she said that twice, I think, in the play. And then she also seemed to be the only person who was actually giving good advice for this relationship. Any other reflections on the title? Is anything you might have told you? It's just interesting how we, how, how the title is a clue to what the playwright's kind of thinking about. Because you know when you're writing, um, those of you who have written plays, how many of you started with the title first before you wrote anything down? How many wrote the play and then put the title on at the end? <laughs> yeah, so from those numbers, from the sample size, the play is somehow a summation of what's going on for you. The play becomes a clue, or the title becomes a clue for the audience. <laughs> question: What question would you have for them? Um, <laughs> I don't really have any specific questions for the audience. That's not helpful because I'm out of notes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> loved the ending and how the issue was resolved. Yeah, the trick with farce is ending it. Mm -hmm. Really, really tricky. Like, does it just bleh, die, or do you get a button on it? So the ending was like. Bank teller was my fellow. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. I, la <laughs> I love the robber's sudden interest in the man's love life. Yeah, the, the nice thing about farce is it's about a bank robbery, but then all this other really important stuff keeps interrupting and happening, and you play that tension off, I think, really, really beautifully. Uh, why did you have the lady come from Washington? That choice. Um, I just think it's a very different place from Atlanta, Georgia, so that was just... <laughs> Contrast. Yeah. So I, D.C. or state? State. I thought D.C. Mm. Why would it rain more in Washington, D.C. than Washington State? Yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so, so some people always read the play more than others. <laughs> uh, throw a flower. What did you love? What did you love best about this story? What was the most fun part for you? Yep. Uh, in this from uh, the school that we read ahead of time and uh, I didn't catch in the ending he says to tell to her children so that was True. a very subtle yeah. hint that he had he had decided that he was not going to be with her instead of saying our children he said her children cool. yes. I love the relatability of being in a rock and having somebody that like uh, had to share our bank instead of being like oh hey how was your day oh 
<laughs> Anybody else? What more flower we got? Yep. I really love the character of Spirit. So. Nice. Oh, well played. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up once more for me. For no less. <laughs>